we've run out of our allotted recording amount and we need to stop soon. <laughs> That's why this else, is we're, special. We're on month we're, we're on we're month to month now. Yeah. <laughs> it's why it's why we're doing the special Christmas episode instead of a of a full episode because we just ran out of yeah, time. Until we, we get enough time. money to pay for another month of Paramount Plus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. What's this? Wow. Jingle bell, you guys jingle bell, this? jingle bell. <laughs> I don't remember oh, shit. No, no. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the, the version of the song Nate composed last year. Oh, this is new. It. I thought I thought this was new. Yeah, oh yeah, it's uh, um. I, I actually I actually really like the rockabilly intro. So sometimes I just listen to it while I'm editing. I'm like, oh, I gotta listen to it again while I'm editing. <laughs> just those like 15 seconds. Yeah, because then the rest of it's exactly the same. So. Except there's jingle bells on top of it. So. Uh, and those are real ass jingle bells too. He didn't yeah. just like get a get a sample. He 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 waited until he got some actual damn sleigh bells for it. <laughs> yeah, his, his, um, when, yeah, he, he went to the North Pole, <laughs> killed a couple of reindeer. Yeah, and yeah. he stole their had to fight the Stranger Things guy for it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. where jingle bells come from. They come from reindeer. Yep, you have yeah. to. They, they pooped them out. They pooped them out. You gotta, get them, <laughs> you gotta kill them though. But the only the jingliest bells are from their gut before they're pooped out. So you got to kill or them, slice them open right testicles. then and there. <laughs> yeah, he had um like toy jingle bells and he tried them and he was like, oh, these don't sound Where very good. Where did he get them from? He ordered them online and then because it was the pandemic, it took forever to arrive, but it finally arrived. And he was like, yes, you got huge ass jingle bells. Like they're they're like the really actual big ones he would put on a real Wait, horse. Is it one of those like um like wow. maces? Like it looks kind of like a club that's just yes. like studded with jingle bells. Yeah, yeah that's what he said. Are, yeah, it's like yeah. real. <laughs> so then he mixed them together to make like a stereo jingle bell, and then that's that's what we got. That should be a good like weapon for a bard. <laughs> that would actually be pretty sick. Like uh, yeah. I I strike a with jingle, jingle mace. bells. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. pretty sick actually. Hmm. Mm. I'm sure it's already been done for for Nate because he was he's a bard. So in our in whenever we do play D and D, which is very rare these days, hasn't been. It's been, it's a, been a while. A, it's been quite a while. But uh, yeah, we're 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 doing a special episode this time of year because oh. uh, you know one we could use a little bit of a break. Uh, you know we got some vacations and stuff coming up, and you know we don't want to get burned out. But also there's a lot of viewer. Or really, listener, I guess viewer too these days. Um, listener emails that mm-hmm. we just never really get to. Uh, some of them it's just because they're a little too long for a regular episode, and some of them it's just because <laughs> <laughs> you just haven't uh, uh, seen them before, or they they were just too many in a inbox, and we we're just like, well, can't read that many emails in one sitting. We gotta go home. Yeah, you know? we could barely read. We gotta go home. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go home. Gotta go home and boil some eggs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder if anyone even gets that. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Oh, I miss those commercials. I hated when mm. those Sonic commercials became upgraded production quality and they got so much worse once yeah, they added. Sonic has, <laughs> had a good thing going with whatever ad agency they hired to make those. Those were good. Yeah, that was, that was very good. That's up there with uh, my favorite ad of all time, Hotels.com. Well, the guy is like, Honey, they gave us Look, two, two shampoos. <laughs> this tra- <laughs> but I have to give a good review. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> oh, they got me. <laughs> and then he just squeezes oh, both bottles working. on top of his nearly bald head. <laughs> Such a good commercial. It's so succinct. I would be yes. proud if I directed that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I would never need to direct anything ever again. Uh, but just real I, quick, one <laughs> one other great commercial is I think it's a Wendy's commercial where double your pleasure. <laughs> what? It's not Wendy's. It's that's a guy it, in a cast who has to reach for his wallet to bacon eaters, and he has to like he's in a full arm cast. And he has to break through it, and he cries out <laughs> in like horrible pain <laughs> to break wow. through the cast so he can reach for like the dollar in his pocket. That's and then terrible. as soon as he gets it, he he like holds it out like smiling. It's great. 
Yeah, this the double mint or not double the double yeah, double mint double mint yeah, yeah. yeah double, double mint, double double mint, mint uh, from Wrigley's from Wrigley's came up because we were in Catalina Catalina Island Which is and that's owned all by the Wrigley. Wrigley family yeah yeah uh huh and yeah, uh-huh. um you know they were talking about double your pleasure double your fun the and Wrigley's it was stuck in Sarah's media? head for a whole yeah and day. it was stuck in my head all weekend <laughs> I swear I just kept walking around is Catalina Wrigley Island. Field also owned by Wrigley's yes. by yes. the same that's family it's the gum it's the gum mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's a mafia family you know you know you know what's funny. <laughs> gum, uh, gum the, is serious the only, business. Literally, the only gum they actually sold on the island was double mint, uh, juicy fruit, and the other one. That was it. That's, gum, that's, uh, uh, just uh, straight up spearmint. Yeah, yeah that, that's all they sold. Bigly, which the white, the yellow, the green. Yeah, which I thought was actually funny that they were really adamant about only selling. Man, how did it go? Gum. How like, did growing up, go? my mom would always get big, like ten packs of Wrigley gum from like the ninety nine cent store. Mm. Oh yeah, well yeah. I mean, yeah. it was huge back in the day. I mean, I liked um, Juicy Fruit, Yeah, right? Juicy Fruit was my favorite. Juicy yeah. Fruit was, yeah, like my first gum. But yeah. like, it always lost flavor in like point. You never, seconds. You never forget your first gum. Not as fast as uh, <laughs> Fruit Stripe. Fruit Stripe lo- oh, lost fruit flavor terrible, much yeah. faster. I, I yeah, hated yeah. Fruit Stripe. I was just like, this and is And then you taste. get like a block of Bublicious or something. It's like, Jesus Christ, this will never <laughs> run out of flavor. <laughs> You put the whole, you get bubble oh, tape the whole and you thing, just put the, the tape. whole tape in yeah. your mouth. <laughs> I never did the whole roll. I, 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 legitimately, like, <laughs> I legitimately opened it and done a half. Like I took a bite. Ew, really? And I, and oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Big League Chew was, it was oh, definitely Big a good one. Yeah. I never had Big League Chew. I never did. Yeah. And it came like in the little pouch. So you yeah. can feel like you were chewing tobacco, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's Maybe exactly what it was supposed to, to emulate, which is why it was yeah. like banned from many stores and why the market for it really shrank because people you, were you like, can still oh, buy it though. Is... you can buy it in a, in a Yeah, you can find it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's just like, oh, you know, you want to be just like dad chewing tobacco. Yeah. Here's your big league <laughs> little gum chewing they tobacco. They should have had like a little kid's like neon colored spittoon. <laughs> oh my the gosh, do you guys remember like... um, <laughs> they had um, candy cigarettes? I love those. Oh, I never had those either. The candy cigarettes were great. Right. My dad prevented me from having them because he thought it was. <laughs> oh, a bad my parents influence. didn't care. Yeah. They gave me the candy cigarette. I mean, it, as kids, I yeah, remember I, going I around being cigarettes. like, "Can I get some candy cigarettes?" You know, like what a horrible thing now. Like <laughs> yeah, the yeah, only yeah. thing that I can yeah. find, or the only thing cities. I was able to find, were like <laughs> cigarettes that were like cho- like just paper rolls filled with chocolate. <laughs> which suck because they're very hard to eat. Yes, <laughs> my, they're extremely my, hard to eat. My grandparents uh, were smokers. And mm-hmm. they had a pretty big house in Mexico. And then my grandma would call me over, right? And she'd be like, tell your grandfather I want a cigarette lit, you know? Because like, cause like she'd be busy, you know? Like cooking yeah. or something. And I'd be like, okay. Light and I'd go and she's me. like, grandma wants a cigarette lit. And he's like, all right. And then he would light it and then give it to me. Lit. And of course, <laughs> on the way, I would smoke, you know? <laughs> oh, no. You would try and it? And oh, thus my began God. my hard smoking yeah. habit. And you'd be yeah. really cool for like a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because you like you are that. a smoker, right? <laughs> I mean, I smoked for like 10 years. I, I yeah. I'm, I'm not a, sm- a cigarette smoker anymore. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you're the other type of smoker. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, my oh. sister's really into the, the vape. She's like, See, I'm not a smoker. I, I vape. I'm like, See, um, I, the thing about mm. the vape is, is that I think that why not just smoke for reals? Like, <laughs> like well, why do fakes? You think that it's it's healthier because she's convinced no. herself it's healthier because she's not smoking anymore. You know, you also look like you're sucking off like a little robot dick. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's like just and do also she cigarettes. does it inside. Like she does it. She likes to do it inside. You know, like she'll also some of those vape pens are for weed, so it's like a really convenient, yeah. really quick weed. Right there, you know, yeah. so that could be yeah, that's true. Also useful for that. Even but. weed, I'm like, just just smoke the real stuff. Don't don't. <laughs> it's convenient sometimes. Yeah, I, I mean, and if odors a concern, it's actually better for that. That's true. I mean, like they people have done crazier things. They will vaporize it and fill a bag and carry yeah, a bag true. around with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's very complicated. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's like carrying around like a big. Well, you know how they would sell like cotton candy in a bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just like that, mm-hmm. but it's weed. Yeah. 
it's a, it's a cloud of it's, weed. It's, it's yeah, it's it's just <laughs> weed vapor. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have in the bag? Oh, my weed vapor. My bong <laughs> weed vapor. Don't 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 come near it. Don't pop it. Yeah. yeah. All my weed vapor will go. <laughs> yeah. This is like this is like fifty bucks worth of vapor, dude. <laughs> fifty bucks worth of vapor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, yeah, when it was hard to get. <laughs> have you guys ever? Yeah. I've. Have you guys ever like? smoked not had anything to smoke and you like back when you were kids you like smoke out of like an apple you like make the little oh i've never i've never done that but i think nate has done it I'm, uh, i've never been that needy that i think I <laughs> gotta fucking do it like you could always find like something like you could always find something to roll roll the fucking joint <laughs> maybe we were just doing it for fun to try maybe it. <laughs> i mean some people go like oh an apple it'll flavor it maybe i don't know like if that's the reason why, then maybe I can get it. But no, I've never tried that. No, <laughs> I think that's why. That's why some people swear by teenagers. corn cob pipes. They go like, "Oh, it's it's it kind of tastes like corn." So it's like, you know. Oh. Yeah. But if if what you're smoking is like t- tobacco, like no, I yeah, don't, d- don't if, smoke if I would tobacco out of a fucking flavor. apple. <laughs> 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 no, but I mean like a corn cob pipe. Like if that's supposed to flavor your tobacco, and it's like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I smoked smoke a tobacco. Just pipe smoke before. a regular cigarette, dude. D- d- why are you getting <laughs> it's into not this complicated thing? shit? <laughs> yeah, look, I'm just gonna it's stick same with thing, my big It's the same thing about chew, about. I, I don't thing. like a king. I don't want to king shame anybody, but it's just too many. I feel like all everybody's kink is too many like complications. Like just <laughs> you, you, you're adding things to it that you don't need to add to it. Just smoke a regular cigarette. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Have You've already kink. skipped to like the punchline because like I would start that conversation off with like people who require all these modifications to their orders at like a restaurant. Well, that's that like a yeah. recipe for disaster. Yeah. yeah. That's why, mm-hmm. that's why, it, especially in a big group, like when we're ordering, I even look, I, I hate fresh tomatoes. I have, I hate a lot of them, <laughs> but mm-hmm. I don't mind them in like in a salad or in a hamburger. There's, there's a couple ways that where I don't mind them, but if I'm ordering food and there's a lot of people. I never go, even if I have special needs, I'm like, I'd never go with the special order because the risk of it, them getting it wrong goes up like tenfold. Yeah, yep. That's like, absolutely. I just go, I'm exactly just go regular. I'm like, and I, yep. And, and guess what? Nine times out of 10, mine is never wrong. It's like, okay, because that's the one that they got normal. Okay. We got to get this one out because it's, it's, it's regular <laughs> order. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't mess that one up. So it's like, I'd rather just so take off do? whatever like, I don't pick like. Pick out the tomatoes? Yeah. Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Well, or just eat it. it. When you're there, yeah, when you're in a like, group setting, you just yeah. like like I have like. I mean, a, it would be weird if you picked out a tomato in like a group setting. I think exactly Maybe like like it. like I, I have would a even psychological. do it too. I would even do it too because because <laughs> it it because somebody will eat my tomato. <laughs> Somebody yeah, it's like, well, I don't really love tomatoes. Anybody want it? And yeah. people are like, yeah, yeah. What are you, here. baby? Yeah, uh, all the time. All the time. Well, Seriously, yeah, well, as, as literally this happened like a few <laughs> weeks ago. Do you want me to if cut I, up your if steak if, for you too? <laughs> yeah. if, if I'm having like a, like an ice cream sundae and it came with a cherry, I don't eat the cherry. So I give it to Sarah, you know, I think like stuff like that. But like, yeah. you know, like, like, for example, I have like a psychological aversion to raisins. Like, like I, <laughs> <laughs> they damage your psyche. <laughs> no, it's just like, it's not even physical because like, just to put it in perspective, there was this local empanada place near my parents' house where I would literally eat empanadas for a year. And then year in, I discovered they put raisins in it and then I couldn't eat them anymore. <laughs> even though it was the same delicious empanadas from the yeah, very you're beginning. <laughs> yeah. You're, so you're just, that's I know. just insanity. The thing is, if yeah, I'm in a group setting, if I'm in a group setting, and uh, you know, I got a salad, and they put raisins in it. I'll just eat it because yeah. I'll just, I'll just tough yeah, it. Well, you don't want to be yeah. rude. Yeah, yeah I'll no. Just like, oh, I mean, I, I mean, he, he, I would just rather, I rather get them getting up and I not get my order wrong, and I could just take it out of my. I, I don't care if I do it in a group. I don't care. I just, yeah, yeah. I'll just order that way because it's, it's less likely to get fucked up. Right. It's true. Um, no, and, and, and me, I'm thinking like that. Like that restaurant doesn't need this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, poor yeah. worker back there yeah, doesn't yeah. need all this shit. Also, they're going to get slammed with a twenty-person yeah. order right now. They don't exactly. need it to be really complicated. Also, like also the person taking the order and having to pay yep. for all that shit. Like yeah. uh, the person yeah. who's going to submit the order for you guys. Like if they, especially if they do it over the phone. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck being that and person. It was also like it's just easier to. Uh, I forgot where my my thought was. I, I I see what happens when I pay attention to the people when they're talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was gonna say is that not only is it not wrong, but also it it comes out fast. So if someone has if, if like your party of ten has 
five special orders, then your regular order is going to be cold because they have to wait on all the shitty fucking special orders to get. Mm. You know what I mean? Because mm. yours is like, going to be the easiest one, so it's going to get done, and it's fine. I don't care. Like I, I nine, uh, most of the time I'm like, just give me the what, just how it is. I don't give a fuck. Just give it to me. Yeah, I, I before I, I, I cared, and now like I'm like the odds of them fucking it up. Does it does does it equal my happiness by not having fucking this thing on my plate? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't care. We're all going to die soon anyway, so just bring it to me. <laughs> It's a very cheerful Christmas episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, most yeah. Pl- most places either fake up, f- fake up, fuck up your drinks or like your food. Like, yeah, it's like expected. Well, don't 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 uh, don't order a fancy drink. Just order, you know, order the the, the regular stuff. Just yeah. order some Coke. fresh squeezed water. Yeah, give me, give me <laughs> one of those free tap waters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, and for you know. me, like, I think it's like, you know, like for drinks, it's like, you know, if you're not a milk person, like, I don't want milk in like my coffee or something like that. Like, who puts, that's true. who puts milk in your coffee, milk though? Person. Oh, are you going to like a coffee shop? Yeah, like a coffee yeah, shop. Yeah, like if yeah. you go to a coffee oh, okay. shop or something, you know, you yeah. want the almond milk. And if they make it with regular milk, it's like, ugh, no. See, I yeah, Sarah, I never... Sarah's like kind of intolerant to lactose, I think, at this I'm point. Not, yeah, I, I'm not. I can too. handle it. I just don't like the taste. I, you, I'm, know, you know how I they, think you, you get stomach here's issues, a Here's a pro tip. Pro tip. For them not to get your order wrong at coffee places. Just order a black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's what I do. And they never, they nine times out of 10, they get it right 100%. Of <laughs> nine, still only nine times out of 10. <laughs> yeah. You got to, you got to well, account well, for well, that. Well, here's one. the thing. Here's how they get it wrong is that they leave you a little bit of empty space to mm-hmm. have like Room whatever you cream, want. Yeah. And I'm mm-hmm. like, just give me all the way to the top, dude. Nothing's <laughs> yeah. going in this cup. And like, maybe they'll get their, maybe they'll get your name wrong and say it's like, you know, Richard. Yeah. Richard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. Richardo. Richardo. Yeah. I, get, I actually get that a lot. Oh, Richardo. Really? Oh. Yeah. For in orders and food. That order. just oh. reminded me of a cup I saw. It's like, they told them that my name was Mark with a C and then on the cup, it oh, says yeah. Park. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he will surely get the kark. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he will surely get the karkland. Uh, uh, well, before we dive into emails, let's just do sponsors really quick. Because, hey, oh boy, one of them's nope. extra. And, you know, it's still not too late to get a wallet for your, your loved one for Christmas. Because extra wallets are very nice. They're super slim. They're very Increase sp- their get- love for you with a wallet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah increase, the, increase their monetary love of you with a wallet. Uh, they have a quick access button that lets you click out up to five cards at once. They made a high quality, environmentally friendly, and cool materials like Italian leather, space grade aluminum, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, and I was just poking around their website. They have a solid gold one. <laughs> Whoa. Which I thought was Ooh, like for ballers? For like- yeah, it, it, it's like the gold edition. <laughs> Ooh, wow. It's made of 18 karat gold. Uh, so if you really wanted what to get fuck? that one. Yeah. <laughs> if you well? really wanted that one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can get that. Um, it's also RFID blocking, so no one can just swipe past you and grab your stuff from the yeah. RFID. We were on vacation. I had my wallet. Nothing's been jacked because you know what? I had those RFID blocking plates. On but my- how do you know no one was going to jack you before that? That's you uh-huh. can't prove that. Wrong. That's true. I can't prove a negative, but at yeah. least it's. It's still happening. Lisa, I'd like to buy your rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, if you're into this, you can get a tracker that you could put on your wallet. So in case you lose it, you can find it, you know? Or, so, you know, you could track somebody, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, slip it in their pocket. <laughs> yeah. Then, you know, yeah. Buy your wanna... loved one a tracker yeah. wallet. Oh, <laughs> I have a question Look. for the group. Hey. So mm-hmm. if someone stole your wallet and you had one of these things and it was, <laughs> it had a tracker on it, would you follow that person? Yes. Yeah, I would. 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, yeah, confront and them? He's like, I, well, know, I don't know if it would be yeah, like me probably. myself. What if it's dangerous? But, it, it, well, I mean, it, 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 you gotta it's find dangerous them. walking down the street. Doesn't yeah. you know, you're just adding a little bit of more danger. It's it's fine. We're all <laughs> so going to hell anyway. What happens when you find them? What would you say? It would be I'd like, say, give my I'd wallet. Be like, I have please, strong please. evidence you have my wallet. Yeah. Please uh, give you, my wallet. You, you, back. you gotta go in with a nice thing. Hey, uh, uh though this is this is against my 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 core being but you got to go in with it nice like hey i put my wallet had a tracker on it and it kind of led me here have you seen it have you seen it or like it's him did somebody did it fall to your your pocket somehow i don't know maybe no maybe it did does anybody in your did anyone in your household find a wallet or anywhere in the streets and what if they deny it (laughs) what if they say no sorry i haven't seen anything okay well i'll just call the police department see if they can help me and then you know 
Can you stick you around may... while the police comes and then we yeah. can figure it out? Yeah. What if they yeah. walk away? Well, then they can no, walk away. You can still call the police. Yeah. No, but I'll just are keep you following gonna, them. Like, follow them? The tracker keeps saying it's 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 yeah. near you. I'm just gonna yeah. keep following my wallet. <laughs> well, at that point, a, a smart criminal will just you know unload oh. everything of value from the wallet yeah. and leave it. <laughs> well, I mean, with you watching right there, I mean, that's yeah, right in front of, of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like, well, this is my money that I put into this wallet. That I <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally yeah. put all these dollar bills in this wallet. Sorry. Here you go. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. My name is also Marvin Choi. But <laughs> also you guys are, are guys. I don't, would you advise yes, that, that I follow? No, that's, that's different. Yes. Should that's I different. follow someone like alone? No, it's I mean, yeah. that's a completely nice different on question. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not what would it is, you do? It, it's what should I do? Yeah, that's a different question. So. Well, now yeah. I'm asking a different question. It's like, it, I, what should I? Unfortunately, we live in a world. You? We live in a world where women are attacked more for certain things like that. So I don't think we should. Or you should. Um, so I should let them go. It's not. I worth would it. find. A, I would find a kind old man and go. Hey, this is my tracker. My tracker says it's here. Would you? Would you go with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a kind old man. <laughs> if, yeah. if he's like an old, like Asian or Latino man, and he has a cane, he will get it back for you. Like, yeah, he will, he'll he, just, he will yeah. beat really? the shit out of him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, well, good to know. It's, it's good to know when considering getting a wallet with a tracker or not. Will I actually use it if I'm in a situation where I need to follow this person? Yeah. Looks like maybe I won't. Yeah, but if you or if you're in a group then. of ladies, if you're in more than one lady, if you're oh, in a yeah, gaggle like a of ladies, of death proof, yeah, yeah. death proof yeah. style. You just a yeah. gaggle of ladies. Yeah, yeah. you uh, you beat or him up. Girls. You yeah. montage beat him up, and then yeah, yeah that's here's the right. thing: is that look, okay. uh, so far out of all the things we've we've peddled here, <laughs> to be honest. We've all tried each and every one of them. Not because they give a shit. Actually, they didn't give a shit. Actually, <laughs> they did give us a, one of these wallets, but but Dan took it because he had an experience. He didn't have. He they, hadn't. To had be fair, experience. we actually haven't received it yet. So well, okay. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. To clarify, but yeah, Marvin and I had these wallets way yeah. before the sponsorship. Yeah, um, I've had it for over a year before. You still have it. Yeah, I, moved I still on. have it. Yeah, I, I, I'm an adventurous wallet holder so ever yeah, yeah have her. Mm -hmm. yes thank you dan and <laughs> i like to i like to 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 change it up every like every about year i like to go okay new yeah. year new me new wallet boom yeah. mm. uh so now uh this isn't a sponsor but i'm being transparent i don't rock this wallet but i rock the the bellroy wallet oh. but i did rock this wallet that were that is our sponsor now and i enjoyed it i just i just changed every year yeah but yeah I, I i had no nice. complaints about it and i i use wallets until they're dead like they're unusable basically i'm and the I, same because i kind of want the other color yeah, too. i i ordered the blue wallet and i like it but i kind of want the other color now but it's not really worth to me i'm like i'm gonna use this wallet till it's dead then i'm gonna yeah, yeah. get a new wallet but if you mine guys actually looks <laughs> my I use mine for like a year or, or mm. since you gave it to me because yeah, Marvin's yeah. the one who gave it to me, and I mine looks like new like I it, it's it's like not even that yeah. worn. So yeah, you would it, think it, that, that the, the quick access button I because I play with it too. I click it open. Yeah, yeah. Over all it's time. hard you not think to play it, with it. You think you know it would I mean. you know uh, wear out, but if after it's all there, this time, you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna play with it. <laughs> it's gonna go <laughs> off by accident one day. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna put your eye out. Yeah. Well, if you, um, if you hold it too close to your eye, it will <laughs> hurt your eye. But if you want that wallet, you head on over to exter.com. That's e k s t e r dot com, and use our offer code newbie. It's n e w b i e. That gets you up to twenty five percent off site wide, which is pretty cool. And also, I forgot to mention other times, uh, free shipping. Any order over fifty dollars or more, which is like a single wallet essentially yeah. and uh free returns within 45 days of receiving your order so there's no risk you can just check out the wallet you don't like it just send it back you yeah. know cool. so again that's extra.com offer code newbie up to 25 percent off site wide and then finally our old dependable express vpn listen you guys have heard this spiel a lot of times you just know it's a really good vpn super fast super secure super available in lots of different devices and if you want express vpn Right now, just head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months for free, which is a total savings of 49% off. And in fact, that's such a good deal. That's actually the deal they give out for Black Friday. You just have access to it all year long. You go to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. 
like it. We months. we still have that. We're we're not lying. We're not like oh yeah. we tried that shit. No, we still have ExpressVPN. I was with a different VPN. I was with um uh I think private, Nord. Nord, oh, private Nord, internet no, 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 access. No. Private internet access. Yeah, yeah. And that's then, what you were. PIA. Yeah. And then I felt like they didn't. When I looked at the features of ExpressVPN, they had more options for everything. So like with private internet access, it was just like one code for one thing. So it was like for your for your t- for your for your uh, computer or for your phone, it was all one thing, but these are individual things that you could have different codes for. You can yeah. even put it on your Xbox. You, you have a, an, an app for your PS5. So that makes it way, way different than, than any of the ones I've tried before. For yeah. the record, I have mine on right now. Oh, because yeah. he's cruising. He's looking at <laughs> you porn while he's podcasting. <laughs> Great multitasker. Yeah, he's got. Yeah. You got to. You got to do multiple things at yeah. once. I actually yeah. used it. It takes I used practice. It a lot. I know. I know. <laughs> to have two screens and then you're looking at two different. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot of mental juggling, <laughs> as well as hand eye coordination. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah absolutely. I use it uh, when I go to work. Sometimes the few times I do have to go into the office. Because, you know, it's like they know that now they have to know like that you burn more time in the office than you do at home. At home, oh, yeah. I'm like, I, have, I feel responsible that I owe them, you know, work. So you work more. But at, at, when I go into the office, I'm like, ah, I don't want to just like the commute the alone yeah. sucks yeah. some of your so much of your energy away. So I, 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 throw in, I mean, when you I live in LA, on, the commute yeah. is a yeah, is a very big factor. Yeah, so I get in there. I throw on the ExpressVPN so I can get on the fast Internet at work. Super fast. Yeah. They don't know what I'm at. They think I'm working. I'm, I'm going through Instagram, you know, <laughs> going through going through Twitter, going through, you know, Though Twitter has done its way out, I don't. I don't really go on that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see where that lands well, in the yeah. future. We know what's going but on. But anyway, there. I, I cruise YouTube, uh, and no one's the wiser. Everyone thinks I'm working. They're like, "Oh, he's on a VPN. That's interesting." No one knows what I'm doing. Boom. Yeah. So again, nice. ExpressVPN.com. Solid professional work advice from Ricardo. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> The, the best advice you'll get is to go to expressvpncom slash trick. Get that deal, forty nine percent off. You know what to do. All right, let's uh, let's get into our first email. If you guys want to send us emails, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. I will say, you might have to wait till next December to have it read. (laughs) Yes, you might. One, yes, it'll be a little while. And two, so I read every email, every email. But if you send like like an essay. Bad bad or good? (laughs) Yeah, bad. Yeah. And like if it's an essay... I can't read that on the podcast. It's just too long. Uh, so I, w- if you want to send an essay, totally cool. I will read it. But we won't get to but, it till the end of the year. Yeah. And it's just, we, there's no way we can read it out. But all right. And and, and these are like the, the ones we're going to read now are really the longest letters we can really do. So this first letter subject is podcast and beyond. He didn't sign his name, but his first name is Ben, according to the email. Uh, ben, ben Kenobi. Ben. Yes, Hello, anonymous Ben. ben. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you that I, oh, that's your Ben voice. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. He took a weird pause. Hey guys. Hey guys. guys, uh, I just wanted to tell you that I recently had to take a long road trip and I listened to you the whole time. I've been into Star Trek since I was a kid. I'm I'm only a few years (laughs) older. (laughs) (laughs) That sounds horrible. (laughs) He was forced. Uh, Sorry. uh, Sorry. Sorry for your loss. Like his dad put us on in the car and you like, had no choice. Now he has uh, two thirds of his work completely. He's like, these guys are my friends because he's got (laughs) Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. Uh, Well, he says, I'm only a few years older than you guys. Uh, I watched TNG with my dad. It's funny you mentioned his dad. Uh, he, he gave me the love for sci-fi and I still carry with me today. I think you guys Aww. and gal are hilarious and you sparked a whole different side of the Star Trek universe for me. I gr- cool. Okay, I like this part. I grew up loving Wesley because he was a smart kid around a bunch of people who didn't understand him. But listening to you guys rag on him is hilarious. I never really saw it the way you guys do. But damn it, if it isn't fucking the best, we've convinced him he's awful. <laughs> I'm, ha- <laughs> I'm having a super hard couple of days but i wanted to reach out and say thank you for being who you guys are i've been trying to get a podcast off the ground for years but i could never find friends to do it with consistently i even bought two shore sm7bs to make it really sound good but nothing ever happened but you made me think about doing it again you should do it i think you absolutely. should absolutely yeah i yeah. mean we never thought we would do anything and we still don't think that but here we are anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Here's the thing is that like nothing's changed. Nothing 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 changes 
overnight. Yeah. Literally, nothing. Yes. Yeah. So, like, you, you, you got to keep, just keep doing it. Even you have two listeners. That's how we yeah, were. I, I think. It, it, I think things didn't start happening for us until Marvin started doing the TikToks. Yeah, and even uh, then, damn it, I said the TikToks. God, <laughs> the <damn> TikToks. <laughs> um, the tick. And so Marvin started doing TikTok. There, I changed. <laughs> you could edit it. Um, no, none of the nothing's but, edited. But I think I think yeah, nothing's edited. <laughs> Here's the thing: is that like if you can't expect to to just start up a podcast and be like, oh, look how many listeners we have. No, it, it's yeah. you know, just try it and out. Are, That's the thing. Like yeah. a lot of people, we're we're still learning. Yeah, yeah, we're still learning. But the other thing is that a lot of people go like, oh, I for any project, honestly, I've talked to a lot of artists and people who are like, oh, I'm going to really start endeavors. this project. Yeah, creative endeavors in general. They're yeah. like, I'm going to start once I get all the equipment right. You know, I get all the scheduling correct. Just do it. Just try the first episode of whatever you're doing. Like, don't worry about getting it perfect. Even if they don't end up being like the the, the people you do the podcast with long term, just try them out and see how, how you guys like it at all. You know, you might as no, well. All the time in all creative ventures I've heard or seen, like everyone who asks, like, how do I get started in XYZ? The biggest piece of advice that everyone who's already in there gives you is just start yeah, yeah. Start. doesn't matter where that's you are how, just start that's how dan started with the only fans he kept saying oh yeah. next yeah. year next year mm-hmm. next year and i said no nah, dude t- this year <laughs> my man not next mm-hmm. year this yeah. year mm-hmm. and boom and look at him now dude he's yeah, like he's like in the top like point he's like i had to pick out the perfect outfits yeah. I yeah. Had to, no, like, no, he's, no, got, he's got and the then, feet picks and yeah he's, he's, he's like look so much he's like he's like he's like chest hair no chest hair like doesn't matter dude doesn't matter dude um here, here's the thing: is that like even I feel like with this podcast, like we're we're still learning. Uh, I think if we're not learning, then then we're idiots. But <laughs> I I feel like it's changing. It, it always changes. Like I'm always surprised. Like the last episode we recorded was completely different from anything we had yeah. done, and I enjoyed very, it. And it. Very it was different. different. Yeah. Very different. Like completely different. Yeah. And yeah. I enjoy that. And I hope people are like, oh, okay, this is different, but. This is we. This is a weird place where they went on this one, but uh, let's go along for the ride. And some people yeah. like it, some people don't. Some people yeah. like that I mumble, some people don't. I don't care. Gotta try things out. Is, I mean, this even is adding I me to the podcast. I'm a mumbler. Because for a couple seasons, yeah. there was yeah, just we hated you. Three. It was a, it was a sausage sorry. fest for two seasons, and then <laughs> and people uh, got we, used to it. And then yeah. and then yeah. in comes me with my high voice and my oh, lack yeah. of knowledge and, on everything. And- <laughs> And, and interesting points of view. Yeah. It annoys people. I, I, I tell Sarah this all the time, like, because she always goes like, oh, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, you ask questions we never thought of. Because usually we're kind of like, yeah, yeah, as we're all talking. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Absolutely. And then Sarah goes, wait, what about this? And we're like, huh, interesting. Do you think about Well, that? I mean, <laughs> so. when you have a vagina versus a PP, <laughs> I guess true. you just think differently about things. You, we have apparently. literally different different hormones going. So, you know, yeah. you have different. Uh, he did have a question. <laughs> say, All right. Uh, let's hear it. The only thing I can think to ask is how. We're never, never going to get to these fucking emails, dude. <laughs> all the newbies and the newest newbie. How do you think the Federation is funded, seeing as how money doesn't exist on Earth, but there are hundreds of other alien planets that are part of the Federation? Also, I can't look at Tapatio the same way. Thank you. P.S. I also think that Sarah is a great addition to the podcast. Oh, did you just make that? Up? Did you just make that up? Did you just add that? No, it's literally, I could copy paste this. It's in there. Yeah. Well, how will we know awesome. that, that you that you just didn't write it <laughs> up right now? Dude. Log uh, into the account. I, I get, you have all the passwords and that's in, so. great. Uh, I'm not gonna Thank go. You. That takes too much work, dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Does money even exist at this point? I th- so like, are the, we the in question, a future where, because he was asking about funding, and I was like, credits. I think we're they beyond do, yeah. money yeah. at this point. I, are so we? Credits, they, credit, credits are more like a luxury, right? right? Like if like everything's, there's like a, like a, like a universal stipend, right? Yeah. I think like all the necessities are taking care of you for you outright. But nobody yeah. does talk about, that's one thing actually we've never touched on. They don't really talk about money. I think it's because they don't know how to answer that question. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they have they have like br- had brushes with planets where they talk about like trade or export. Yeah, like, but like, but how they don't talk <laughs> don't about know. like oh salaries. <laughs> like, if you work, if like, how much does Troy make? How much does do they even make a salary or a wage? I think they do. I just but, yeah, but, but that's just on top of their like 
like yeah. basic living is free, right? Like, like universal like, basic income. Yeah. So like yeah. basically, like you you could have a, a place to live, a basic place to live, a basic basic you know a, a amount of food you get. Well, you have replicators, so it doesn't even matter. Like there's no. Here's the thing: is that like the replicator changes everything because now there's no public, like there's no probably there's probably no homelessness, there's no scarcity, there's no people who are like, oh, I didn't, I I, I didn't, I don't have nothing to eat. No, there's we'll make you something. Literally, there's replicators. So yeah, we could literally make you dinner. Instantly. instantly don't worry about it yeah, yeah. so so the, that's gone so think about what you can do with technology i mean that sounds great if that well take for instance like even now like look i i don't always mean to br- bring stupid politic politics into this but think about if if we weren't thinking like oh they're taking away women's rights they're 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 n- n- and then like the other side's like well well you're taking away our religious freedoms if we if we just got rid of that and everything was like hey just don't impose your shit on other people that's that's yeah. basically the only rule don't give us your religion we don't want your religion we are not going to take away your religion you can get baptized or whatever the fuck you want to do you think it's interesting you brought up religion in the world in the human world of star trek the earth yeah. federation there is no more religion well that makes a lot of sense <laughs> <laughs> but, here's the thing. But, 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 but to my but the point I was making is that like if you got rid of that like we'll stop bickering about like what 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 uh, rights you're going to give what rights you're going to take away if politicians were there not to enrich themselves which they basically are yeah like if you it, it took money like, out of the equation like yeah if you, if you took money out of the equation then think if you about took the, survival the you out of the done. equation yeah 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 you, what you then, what you can get done I if, mean, if politicians if, if if holding public office was like jury duty where it was like we don't pay you you don't make money off of this you're picked by mm-hmm. the but you're, you're literally randomly picked and you could either be as good or as shitty as it couldn't get worse if it was like jury duty it couldn't be worse <laughs> than what it is now well, like a major um, function of government is like you know making fail, decisions that affect how people well <laughs> how people survive right and it's yeah. like or it affects these these other things that you know people care about so much because it's all t- all tacked to survival. Yeah. So yeah. if you remove survival from the equation, then government itself would also be pretty drastically changed. I would yeah. wager Pro- probably yeah, more like sure. like probably more of like a nice to have administration versus like a thing that's super required. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It'd be like stuff. it'd be yeah. like, hey, yeah. we'd like it's to like, have what this. What do we in our state? organize efforts around to improve yeah. Yeah. our society? Yeah. yeah. Although well, in the world I mean, of Star they, Trek, it would probably be like very similar to what we see, which is like technology, engineering, space travel. They, they do have a military like, component to all of it, though, which probably do. is very governmentally. Uh, and there are probably yeah. people who have pretty strong opinions about like how like space yeah. travel and on conduct with other uh, civilizations goes and things like yeah, that. Yeah, there's a whole um, yeah. There's so a whole there will be no shortage I mean, of things to bicker still, about. There's still a court system. Yes, as we they, saw. They still have yeah, yeah. They still have court systems. So I mean, there's still criminals. There's still crime. Like there's still just because like, there's, 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 yeah. there's no uh, there's no need for like basic uh, needs doesn't mean there's I mean. Uh, gambling is still, still fun. happen. You know I mean? <laughs> people, people will still disagree. You know? Yeah, yeah. So you know, uh, they'll still be systems. Still, to, I, wait, just so know. I have like full context for this email, is this email from the like Ben? Was he himself a newbie asking this question to us, or does he already have an answer? And I think he's oh, just yeah. wondering what we think. I think he's just asking. I think he's not okay. sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a good question. But but Marvin does make an interesting point, which is that it seems like religion is not a big part of the way there are the Federation fringe religions in yeah. other parts of the galaxy and other aliens but, bring their own yeah, religions. and other aliens but, have their own religions which yeah. will actually yeah. become a massive component in other series Ooh, boy. um yeah and it becomes very interesting actually how that intersects i like, mean there's you- clearly other religions there's the one where you know they were they thought about the the devil thingy and it was like that yeah, whole exactly you know. exactly yeah yeah um, and many so- of these things seem to be predicated upon like beings that you know uh, are very powerful, probably more powerful than anything we got. And yes. there are several civilizations that end up like worshiping the jellyfish thing in the first episode <laughs> or... Well, not worshiping, know. they enslaved it. They actually tried to use it as their oh, own. Oh, yeah, you know what, yeah. you're right. Um, I'm, yeah. I might be thinking of uh, Justice instead. Yeah, the, Justice, yeah, that was like some sort of invisible ship that was controlling everything. So, uh, And with, with us saying like that there's no religion, like I, I don't 
care that there if there is religion in this or I, even even in, in this world like i just cuz i don't believe in that shit doesn't mean like i don't if you believe in it that's great i i i that's good i my thing is especially like having a kid is like i don't wouldn't want to like indoctrinate him with anything it's just like hey when you're Discover old enough to himself. have when yeah. you're old enough to have an abstract thought you figure it out what you are into yeah. like you know and and like hell my wife and i are different like i she, she's a believer i'm not but we get along perfectly oh and, interesting you know, i like, didn't know that oh. yeah so it's like it doesn't really matter it it and it doesn't I mean, matter yeah. to my kid it shouldn't matter to my kid till he's old enough to it's, make yeah. his own decision it's it should true. be like I mean, cigarettes like- it should be like cigarettes and booze once you're 18 <laughs> or 21 here here here's a bunch of religious uh pamphlets <laughs> you pick one out or don't you could drink yeah. you could not drink no, you could smoke, you not smoke. yeah, yeah it's, the, the, it's the, fucking your your business yeah, just I, don't I come ask me for money for Burning Man, or <laughs> <laughs> The um, only religion you can never. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I want to read the next email. Is this yeah, one? go for it. Go yeah. for Is this it. The next one. Yeah, I put it in our, our chat there. So. Thank you for your email. That last person. Thank ben. you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, ben. ben. Or anonymous Ben. By the yeah. way, I hope you had a better time. I hope the hard yeah. time ended and you're doing better now. So. Yeah, and on and one more thing I'll say about your email is that it is especially touching for me when anyone says that what we do is inspiring them to also want to create something. Like yes. Yes. that is also <laughs> absolutely that is one of like the coolest things I think anyone out there making stuff can hear from other people. So yeah. thank yeah. you for that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah thank definitely you. made our night for sure. That's so I, nice of you. I do appreciate that, but if I'm being fucking like, <laughs> dead honest, dude, you know what really gets me going when somebody says I fucking hate you guys and they're still listening. <laughs> that that is no, like that's you, a pretty good. That's well, pretty then for high. you, the best uh, email yeah. could be like I've been listening to you from the beginning and I can't and, stand it. Yes, <laughs> that, and I can't yes. stop. I think, yeah. the, I think the review that got Ricardo the the most riled was the one that's like you guys keep saying like was it phoned or fucked. Too much, or is there yeah. something like that? Yeah, and you were like, "All right, well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right." So that means that means you're listening to it a lot. Good, <laughs> yeah. Okay, hey. all right. It's I'm ready fucked. to read out loud. Hello, <laughs> availability. That's the is subject, the subject yeah. line. Yeah. In less than six months, I have caught up to current episodes of Newbie Star Trek, and now I have to wait for weekly episodes. I'm going to miss hearing your voices as the first thing out of my radio every morning. Radio? Oh. Wow. Huh. Well, That's well, sweet. It, it, okay. I mean, it's just probably Bluetooth. It's, it's not old-timey radio. He's not getting, like, <laughs> oh. old. <laughs> He's tuning in. I just, like, you know, like, radio. This guy's not in, like, a 1955 Bel Air. <laughs> going to That's a Wall very Street interesting his- thing to say, radio. Okay. <laughs> I love now, the station. To my comments the about the holodeck. <laughs> In an earlier episode, it was suggested that we're, there were 16 holodecks with a lower ball estimate of 1,050 people on board. That means 65 people per holodeck. How does Lieutenant Barkley? Barkley? Yeah, yeah Barkley. Barkley. Yeah, yeah. Get Barkley into Rob. the holodeck whenever he wants without ever having to wait. Is there never a line? I work at a small business and we have two bathrooms and 12 people on per shift. <laughs> and oh, there man. has like have been going. times people have had to wait, which leads to my next question. How many programs can run at once in a, in a holodeck? I mean, my mm, computer yeah. can have many programs running, multiple browsers, pages open. It's true. But what can a holodeck do? How much physical space does each program require since oh, it's all an illusion shit. anyway? Anyway, uh, thanks for the show. I've really been enjoying it. Sean. Sean yeah, why Sean. not? Why you not jam pack people into one holodeck? And here's the thing. Wait, 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 wait. Hear me out. Hear me out. The only thing that, that's fucked up here is <laughs> the audio. Like the, that unless you're, you're uh, wearing like AirPods, like no, 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 that's, no, no, no that, can, that can happen too. So they're actually d- developing since 10 years ago, actually, uh, like very localized speaker technology. I actually experienced it. They were testing it at a grocery store once. And I noticed as I was walking in line at the Korean market in Korea, uh, it passed by my head. And I was like, what the hell? I, I heard this for a second. And they're like, oh, we have like directional speakers. We're testing them. And like, you can only hear it you're if you're at a right Walmart? in the cone. No, this was at a, like a Korean supermarket in Korea. 
South Korea. I think you're lying, dude. You think no, you know, it, the fuck? It, it wasn't you a Walmart. Think... It was a Kmart. Yeah, you're like this was a, this was a fucking Wakanda, a fucking <laughs> Korean. Yeah, like <laughs> no, how many years ago was this? <laughs> because you went to Korea like many <laughs> years ago. Yeah, this is when I was like, uh, like I just graduated uh, college and then yeah, that, like, high I school yeah, like, and then I went. Yeah, they had my yeah. bream speakers in the. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, this is a real technology. They're still developing. It's like very directional speakers. Like okay. they, they, yeah. So you can't in the future. I'm sure it can and, happen. And, and, okay, and, but I mean, now that I'm you, thinking you can do, about it, you can do it with AirPods though too. Like you could, I could drown out. Like say Dan and I were in in the same holodeck, but different in like different spaces, right? Yeah, and you were. You were yeah, and, and, I, and I'm on a date with Ana de Armas, and he's at, at Del Taco <laughs> in his right. And <laughs> yeah, my ultimate fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> with with common right? Del Taco you, you and common are yeah. <laughs> you, you you and common are, are are hanging out at Del Taco, making some no, sweet beats. No, um, you you meet you guys. Your hollow decks are mixed together, and yeah. you meet Ana Del Armas in a Del Taco. <laughs> yeah, with common. Like, and they're hey, making sweet Anna, beats. have you met my friend Common? Oh hi, <laughs> I love your films. <laughs> Wait, but I actually, I actually really thought. Now that I think about it, I really did think, you know, one per one holodeck, one person. Is I that not how it? But this changes the things. Way- I think, I think, I think, I think you can add more, right, Dan? What, do, what are your thoughts? My thinking is every time they've shown the holodeck without a program running, it looks like a pretty small room. And so right. if there's a physical space that you have to account for and there's no like weird bullshit they're pulling on the floor with like infinite treadmills or something. Yeah. Um, there's probably a physical limit to the space. But at the same time, I don't even know how they accomplish the usual like expanse of space in general where like... Yeah, there's like the treadmill theory. Has, I, 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 I don't know the if that's ground, real. The ground has to move. The ground has to move. Yeah, it has to move. There's no other way. Yeah. And, and But the thing is, they the very first episode had... They showed a holodeck that's so big that like Riker had to go... Sorry, had to go try to find data. And yeah, he traveled yeah. like a long distance across like a pond. Wait, is and- that the illusion or is that the actual room? I yeah, think I it's the illusion. That differs because like just because like the room doesn't need to be the same size as your No, no, it, it doesn't. But, but but that's what I'm saying right? that the ground moves because there's, there's there's some parts where like Riker was like jumping over a creek, remember when he's out in the wilderness? And he, he the, the ground has to move up and down and side to side because he yeah. would jump off a thing there's and then terrain, onto a different yeah. clip, different terrain. So it, it's gotta be like kinetic, like almost like that kinetic sand where it like it, sh- it shifts <laughs> and stuff. Mm, so yeah. Ostensibly, you would need to have enough like uh, malleable, like smart material around you to create terrain for you. Yeah. Um, and that would expand as far as you can possibly get in a single bound yourself as a human. But Probably are nanobots. we all agreeing? You one need that person, much space at, yeah. min- at no, minimum. But but it hasn't is it hasn't been one person from the, since the very beginning. The holodeck has been multiple really? people one room. Yeah. Yeah. In different different situations? But in different yeah. situations? There's even an episode where you saw oh oh, you mean like you mean like no. th- no, they all no, have to I be in one like, scenario. I'm I'm No, that, I'm that's with what we're you. talking about. Yeah. yeah. We, we're ta- we're talking about is it possible to have two different scenarios going on at the same time? If you made it sophisticated enough, you could try. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel so like if you try hard enough, we, you could maybe not, make we're one not, one We're not does. answering Sean's question is how does Broccoli Rob get, <laughs> get in? I think, I think honestly, he's pre-booking time. Like he's, he knows he's, he's a He's got dog. like a standing booking. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, as soon as, so my appointment's for this Tuesday, but I want to already make the next one for as soon as I can make the next one. So whatever yeah. slot is open at midnight, whatever, I'm fucking here. I'll get He wrote like a little shift. bot yeah, program maybe. to yeah. auto sign up whenever yep. the sign up's open and the, Oh, and he's like, in fuck. like a Discord to find yeah. out when the yeah. next, like availability drops. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. And when he's the turning prices are or high, maybe like most people are not into it. Like it's just not. That's you. another possibility. Like, it's like it's like the yeah. you know like when you when there's like a a public Impossible. gym or something at your like <laughs> yeah. apartment and like yeah. nobody uses it. That's also um, possible. It, it's you know possible what? that this is a future where everyone is just generally satisfied with where they are, so they don't really think about the holodeck too much. Maybe you were you, Marvin. You were talking about a bot, and I have to make a confession. This might have to be cut and put in the beginning with the ExpressVPN <laughs> thing. Um, but I have to bring it up, and I can't forget about it. Okay. So I'm bringing it up now. Maybe you could you get spliced into the VPN stuff, but nah, we're, we'll just I'm gonna make, it, it I'm gonna make a confession place. here. It's gonna be a confession because it's been a few years. We had a thing at work. And this is when we use a VPN. And you might mm-hmm. need to use it for your job, public. Here's the thing. 
we had an award at our job that was that they were they would reward the person who was most unappreciated at work or like <laughs> I forget what it was called. Yeah, the unsung, unsung hero award. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. and oh, that and it came with a with a cash value. <laughs> Yes, and cash it, value. It would always go to like the most popular person, not the most deserving, but the most popular. <laughs> but we changed that one year and almost got caught. But we use <laughs> we use the not Express VPN. We use a VPN and we voted multiple times using VPNs. Oh, and we made it. We, oh, wait, we made it go to the right person. Finally, <laughs> we made it go to the right person <laughs> that one year. And then later, I found out because later I befriended somebody that was higher up, and they said it was interesting because the whole company is seventy five people. And 70, like three people voted for this person. People that didn't even know him. And I thought, oh my God, this person doesn't know that we use the, the VPN. Wait, it's what? The- <laughs> yeah, we almost got caught. Um, but we don't work there anymore, so fuck them. No, um, it's fine. It's fuck yeah. it. Fuck it. Um, yeah. But though, speaking of bots, that's what it reminded me of. Sorry. <laughs> so wait, you, Sean, you guys actually did rig we, this, we, we, this? We rigged an election. <laughs> and it worked? And it worked. Oh my God. That's amazing. Did you but did you rig it to be who was the winner? Did you rig it left. to be We 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 can't say who it is. <laughs> it, it was the person who was deserving of the award actually. It wasn't uh-huh. it wasn't I know who they, you're talking about. Yeah. Well, it wasn't cuz it was Joe it was a popularity Biden. contest for, for for the company. Like oh whoever was more more popular would get the would get the vote. But that's not the spirit of the award was whoever was unsung. really deserving of it. Unsung yeah, it's hero. Called, it's not, called unsung not Mr. Hero. popular. Yeah. Oh my not, god, not I high love school that presidential you did that. And they never wait, they never <laughs> yeah. caught they never caught on? No, no, but but yeah, I think they almost did, but if we had gone over the limit on the votes, we could have, but we 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 reined it in. It's oh fine. My. That's yeah, awesome. no one's no one a little like, tricky to quantify though, because no you have to find to someone who's who's like legit underrated. Well, yeah, well, I feel like we did we did it we did our job, dude. Yeah, we did. Right. I know, I know what person you're talking about, and Lord Bagul. It, it was it was long overdue. <laughs> See, <laughs> so Marvin yeah. says so, and he's been to uh, Korea and Wakanda. Uh, yeah, and then now Sean, that person is the president did, of the United you States have of America. Arguing about the holodeck, I think. Okay, um, we need another email. Next email. Yeah, yeah. Thank Sean, you, Sean. To, to, to answer your question, I, we don't know. This is a good question. I, I hope your bathroom problem gets solved because it's bullshit. Maybe have sign up sheets, like hey, or like. <laughs> Do it like public restrooms where you're like, the, you have the bathroom for five minutes and then the door unlocks. Wait, so, it should be priority. Do you have to go number one or number yeah. two? Oh, have different bathrooms. Like these are for <laughs> shitting and these are for pissing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That way, only some of them are busy at Number times. one or number two or number one and two. A combo as I call it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> combo. Well, does it, who do you want to read the next one, Dan? Do you want to read the one? Sure. Dan? All right, there you go. All right, so this email subject line reads, just a word of thanks. And it comes from a person named Vince. Thank you, Vince. Yeah. Hey, folks. My name is Vince, and I'm a recent listener to your podcast. I discovered some of your videos on TikTok about a week ago, and I really enjoy listening to your banter and clever interpretations of one of my favorite TV series. Aw. That being said, I recently went on a nine-hour road trip with my boyfriend, and I became very physically ill once we reached our destination. Oh, God. it was. Are they going to blame us for this? This is terrible. My boyfriend doesn't drive, so I had to make the nine-hour slog back to Chicago in a decent amount of pain, nausea, and general uncomfortable. Oh, no. oh no! During oh. this drive, the only thing keeping up my spirits, aside from my boyfriend, was listening to your podcast. Aww. Being a decently big Star Trek fan myself, I found it really engaging to hear your takes on the episodes, and also shout at you through the radio for getting things wrong. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. no! <laughs> well, thank you for helping uh, to keep me sane and content on my drive from hell. There's so many TikTok comments or even YouTube comments I've been reading where it's just like, "There, stop getting this wrong." Stop. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah. sorry. We're they're, not they're, they're, No, we're there's not, so many d- that don't can't ever stand how apologize. Ricardo calls Jean Luc Luke yeah, Picard. Like, there's, a, there's a girl Luke who Picard. said she's she's having a panic attack because you keep calling him <laughs> Luke Picard. <laughs> Luke Picard. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we're sorry. No, uh, we're anyway, so sorry. There's still a little more. There's still a little more. There's still a little more. The funny part. Okay, this is the one they said uh, we keep getting wrong. He, she's. He, it went. Oh my god. How many times are you gonna give the wrong? rundown of what happens in star trek 4 <laughs> he doesn't cure cancer he cures dialysis <laughs> like so i was like oh okay I can't remember the last time we've talked about star trek 4 
I know. In older episodes, I guess, I kept bringing it up. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. right. Uh, Well, okay. Continuing the email isn't quite done. This hatred is worth it. That's why I'm here. This is why I'm (laughs) hitting this podcast, dude. I'm here for the hate. If you're listening right now, you must understand that this is part of the the deal. You have Mm -hmm. to get through it. Yep, you have to. There's no other thing to do. We have no other podcast to listen to. You're stuck with us. If Vince could be shitting his pants halfway through across the country Mm -hmm. while listening to us, you can do it too. Yeah. You're, 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 you're not- <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it'd be like Vince. Yeah. Yep. Speaking of which, Vince is not done. Look forward to more episodes from you all, and I hope that you all get yourself a pa- a Patreon, a Patreon. I'm I'm assuming he meant. Yeah. So I can support the uh, podcast no, he, as he's well. He's talking about the tequila patron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Get so we can yeah. Yeah. get a patron yeah. a sponsorship. Come on, let's yeah, go. Mm. Vince knows oh. what's up. Oh. To some tahini with a little <laughs> with a little lime, dude, and patron. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love it. P.S. I'm interested to know if any of you all are aware of the channel Red Letter Media oh, and their takes we? on the Star Trek franchise. Oh, yeah. Mike from L- RLM is a huge Trek nerd and would be a cool guest for you all if you can swing it. Thanks again, Vince. <laughs> so is Rich, Rich Evans, but there's like zero chance that. <laughs> I only know of Red Letter Media because of Marvin playing random I, YouTube videos. Yeah, I watch them pretty much all the time. And I learned because Nate showed me the Star Trek. Well, what happened is Nate. I told me about Star Trek Generations. Like he was describing it to me. And Mm -hmm. I said, wow, that sounds like the best Star Trek movie ever. You have Kirk and Picard in it. It's going to be amazing. And then he was like, (laughs) no, it's not. (laughs) And then then he showed me the Star Trek Generations review, but from the Plinket review. And I was like, Mm -hmm. huh, well, now I want to watch it more. I want to see the scene where he's buried above ground with rocks. So... (laughs) Uh, then yeah, it's it's bad, but you know that's how. Do are, do you know uh, Red Letter Media, Ricardo? Not really. Yeah, they're just a YouTube channel. They have um, okay. They do lots of reviews but, and stuff. Not just a YouTube. It sounds channel. like they're they porn too. All, but Red Letter. Yeah, sounds yeah. horny. I mean, they grew <laughs> yeah. to prominent. Like the most thing, the thing that they were most famous for, especially like the mid thousands, was mm-hmm. their uh, plinket reviews of the Star Trek prequel trilogy. Mm. Yes, where yes. um. The, a character named Mr. Plinkett, you know, ran down everything he found wrong with you know those three movies. It's been long enough that there's been backlash to that as well. Of but, course. Um, oh, wow. You know. Well, uh, well, backlash in the sense that people now have arguments against it and say, like, the prequels weren't that bad, actually. And yeah, because, any like, granted, a lot of people, like, saw those without really – thinking too hard about it themselves and, you know, started to yeah. take those views as, as facts and things like that. So, yeah. you know, I will say this is a random red letter media factoid that's connected to us actually. So, so the, the, the feature film I made a night's tour, if you look at the credits, this, one of the special thanks is the red letter media.com forums. And the reason for that is because back in the day, I was actually a moderator on one of those forums, specifically for the best of the worst forum. And when I was trying to get funding for that feature film, uh, I was doing a Kickstarter and the rest of the forum moderators, plus Jay Bauman, who runs Red Letter Media, one of the guys who runs Red Letter Media, was like, yeah, you can post your Kickstarter campaign in, in the forum. That's fine. Oh, that's so, cool. And uh, a nice. lot of people actually donated from that forum. Uh, so that movie probably would not have existed if they did not let me do that. <laughs> uh, that's so I don't think I ever actually knew that. That's pretty cool. These yeah, days yeah. you moderate a Discord. <laughs> it's true. But Technically, yeah. <laughs> there's four there's of not us. Much to it, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not but don't public. Worry. It's, a, it's a private Discord. And I just go, oh, look, we have... You I con. still reserve the right to call you a Discord mod and all with <laughs> complete with all the stereotypes that entails. It's uh, fun. But yeah, that's yeah, I've I've watched Red Letter Media stuff for a long time to the point where I became a mod on one of their forums. So yeah, yeah. they have some cool videos. I would definitely check them out if you're not familiar with them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah. Thank you, Vince. Uh, thank you, Vince. Love you. Sorry, uh, hopefully you're well now. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> yeah, you feel yeah. better. I, I cur- I, I, coincidentally I battled with, with some uh with some Ricardo Kimberly with, with a rough taco. With a rough taco, <laughs> I, I was betrayed by of all things the fucking which taco did dude. not come from to, Del to, Taco. No, it did not, but it could have. It has the same effect. <laughs> yeah, uh, the taco could have, but you know, it, you just it can't pin it all on them. The taco was not what did it. It was a salsa. I was I was very ill for two days. 
Um, yeah. But all is well again. I will go back to that taco place. It was not the taco that killed me. It was the salt. <laughs> That's what I say all the time when I go back to Del Taco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine this time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're due. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But do you know what? Once out of one out of ten times that you get a little diarrhea, it's not so bad. <laughs> I mean, I did have the chills. Yeah, and I like those. <laughs> but yeah, two days. But you of, know what? Of guess stuff what? running through you. I lost all the holiday weight I gained. So. <laughs> There's plus size. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's true. I'm still alive. Uh, I'll read the next one. Uh, this one is a short one. It's from our friend Teabags the Traveler. Uh, this one's about. This one's called Crew Cut. Uh, hello, newbies. In the spirit of changing things up, if you had to pick one character to write off the show, Crushers excluded, who would you pick? Also, mm. good exclusion. With, with what character from the show would you like to see your emotion omission replaced? Huh. I, I'm not quite sure I understand that question, but live, living long and prospering teabags to traveler. P.S. I predict Sarah's Luxana love will be vindicated, if not in TNG, then in DS9. So. Mm. Hmm. Also, with what character from the show would you like to see your om- omission replaced? You mean maybe, maybe somebody who died already? Maybe somebody who was gone? Or someone who's not a crew member? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. someone oh, okay, who okay, would. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, okay. someone who's not that, part of the bridge crew. I already that have my answer. I already have my answer. Oh, what's your answer? What's your answer? I'd probably get rid of Worf. Really? Yeah. Oh, poor Worf. I know. That's I know. that's racist. You're getting rid of yeah, the only player on the, the ship. Like, the, the black guy. <laughs> the black guy. <laughs> Yeah. No, <laughs> nah, she oh, still no. has Jordy. It's fine. <laughs> you know, he was my second answer, so I don't know if that, that works well either. Um, but oh no! <laughs> you know, you know what my choice is? It's like, oh no, there. You know what my choice is? What? Uh, it's Riker. Get rid of Riker. What? Yeah, that makes mm, sense. That makes sense. Uh, what is he yeah. I can kind of see why. Yeah, mm, I, I, okay. I would go with I would go with Riker or Data because with Data, Data you get rid of yeah. Data. Whoa, yeah, because get rid of the Data. 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 card <laughs> because 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 then you wouldn't have because Data is like a crutch for them because he's always yeah. figuring things out. He's always mm-hmm. doing things. But imagine you don't have Data and you have to be like every other starship in the galaxy. And no, part of the true. Federation, not, no one else has data. So mm. now you would see how uh, how real how they really how, how they, they really would, fuck well, up. how they act day to day. Um, and so because we're getting our a, a view of of a starship that is very different from every other star, star, starship because they have data. And now we get to see like your Joe Schmo type of you know <laughs> a Joe the Plumber type fucking captain. But they're but they're the flagship. You don't think they deserve data as the flagship? You know? I want to see. Luke Picard handle it on his own. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm. I like, I, I, I can agree with that. I think that would that, make it really interesting. That's one thing I really liked about the premise of Voyager is that Voyager for the first time, you are not following an important or flagship vehicle. And the crew is a bunch of like middle of the road, like losers. <laughs> mm. And they they have to well, survive. Well, if they're in the middle of the road, they're not losers. They're just average. They're C students. Well, middle of the losers in the sense that like they, I don't want to spoil the beginning, but they like all the come from squad? like, <laughs> look, kind like they come from different, all different like slices of life. And they actually don't tell me no spoilers. Hashtag no yeah. spoilers. That's yeah, all yeah, I need okay. to know. Yeah. Done, yeah. Okay. Done. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, it's, so that's what, I mean, you know, and then we know where Voyager goes from there, but still, yeah. uh, I, I, I like, I, the, I, I, I would go with data though. Just, just to change it up and mm. who would you replace you data with? Replace them with you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with, with, uh, Deanna, not, what's, what's my Tasha? lady's friend's bring name? Tasha. Tasha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bring Tasha back. Bring back her sister. The, 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 the oh. sisters just oh. battling oh, it out, wait. dude. Yeah, that, that person. Mm. Hmm. Get rid of Riker. You know what? You know what? The, those sisters have like a Gamora and, uh, what's her face? Like relationship. What's her name? Gamora Sodom and Gamora? Gamora? Nebula. 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 Oh. Nebula and Gamora from, uh, from the Avengers. Oh, yeah. 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 From Marvel. They're like yeah. both tough, but. Tough in their we need to ways. do a, a fuck Mary kill on this, uh, <laughs> on who on we could the, do whole it now. Ca- the whole we could do, we could do a we could do a TNG fuck Mary kill right now. <laughs> well, I mean, it, you need to have three though. It, it has to be only three, as far as I know, right? Yeah, it has, it has to be, be three. three. Well, so you can't do the whole bridge. Kill crew. Beverly. Done. <laughs> <laughs> the mortality rate. The mortality rate drops. When, Mine's when she easy. Ah, uh, let's see. Oof. Kill Mary Beverly. Picard. Oh, mm. yeah. oh, oh! Sorry, I, I bring back the, the, other, the other doctor. Bring back the other doctor. Oh, Polanski. Uh, Ro- Roman Polanski. Roman. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> she's, let's she's see. She's cooler than Roman Polanski. Maybe 100%. I would fuck. Uh, let's see. Who could My fuck is Riker. Fuck. I mean, I mean, I want to say that's the obvious answer, probably. but I'm trying to think outside of the box a little. He's bit. very handsome, you know. Um, what about what about what's his name? Um, T bag transporter guy. Oh, the Irish I, um, guy. Actually, my fuck would be O'Brien. Deanna specifically. Yeah, O'Brien. There we go. Deanna the, the specifically from episode? the be- from the beginning oh, of the Barkley episode. You know when it oh, was okay. in the simulation, and she looked you like mean when she amazing. was very submissive. God damn, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> That would and be so, I so would holiday kill, entity. I would kill Jordy. Yeah. <laughs> I would kill Jordy. Ooh, kill Jordy. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm. He's weird. Anyway, that was my fuck Mary Kill list. <laughs> Wait, did oh, we hear from I, Dan who he would who he would um remove from the crew? Remove? Yeah, yeah. Um just to round it out, I, I'd say Deanna, but I don't know who to replace her with. Mm. Well well, I would get rid of Riker and actually replace him with Q. Have Q oh. as a crew member. That would be like, annoying. Ugh. Yeah, but also he hasn't died, so you can't do that. Well, but it's not that they don't died. have to be dead; they're just not a member of the crew. I guess. So, I guess you're right. You're, so right, you're right. To me, it's and like what's oh, your um, oh, Dan? What's your fuck the, Mary kill? I would bring the, back the pirate, the pirate, the sexy pirate. Oh, the Okana. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Our okay. Okay. Okana's act- okay. Okana is definitely like a more interesting Riker than Riker to me. So yeah. I think that would be cool. Uh, yeah. If, if he ended up being like, sorry, Dan, I cut you off. No, that's all right. I um, apologize. I, I just don't remember what I'm saying anymore. Something about Del Taco. We you need said. your fuck, Mary <laughs> Kill. <laughs> your fuck, you're, Mary I Kill would, list. I would fuck Del Taco. <laughs> I would marry. <laughs> I would marry Data. You marry Data. Kill. Data would make a great husband. Like think he about it. He would be it, a great right? marry or a fuck. Honestly, yeah, he knows. Oh, true. Data. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He's oh, fully yeah. functional. Yeah, he knows um, everything. He's strong and, too. So those fingers yeah. are strong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thingies. That's what's important. God damn yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and kill. Uh, this isn't fair because you could kill anybody in the crew. <laughs> you know, like. You, that's true the, fuck Mary yeah. kill you, you give three choices you have to you have to like yeah. give up someone you would want to yeah. you don't want to lose yeah 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 here you yeah, just yeah, yeah. you're like okay fucking Beverly <laughs> kill Beverly I guess begrudgingly Jordy <laughs> yeah see I picked Why him not too Beverly? no one's killing off Beverly the crushers were excluded yeah, I killed Beverly I killed Beverly yeah no, oh, the really? crushers, crushers were only excluded from kicking them off of the oh wait you're right you're right well yeah. then yeah easy a, a I mean crusher. we need some kind of doctor I no, would kill Jack Crusher Polanski. again Voyager proves you don't need some type of doctor actually <laughs> so. actually you know what you know what they, they could rep- they could get rid of Beverly and put Data as a doctor and he'd be a way better yeah doctor. absolutely actually yeah that's a- absolutely true he, he can, would he instantly be become a better doctor just by like thinking going okay I'm gonna learn doctor I'm a doctor yeah. now. And then yeah. Yeah. just instantly be the best doctor in the whole he's fucking He's like the galaxy. Matrix, yeah. man. He's like, he's like Doogie Howser, but with <laughs> yeah. fully functional dick. I don't know what that meant. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> well, thank you for that email. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, interesting. Do I read this well, next one? Yeah. Read the next one. Why it's not? In the, it's in the chat. Okay. It was a long one. Bear with me. That's what she said. Subject <laughs> line, PPE <laughs> and safety equipment. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to point a few things out since you have already touched on the subject of PPE or lack thereof in the show. The lack of PPE is pretty funny. They just go around touching all sorts of shit with their bare hands. (laughs) No VPNs on. (laughs) Fucking what the hell. One could argue about the biofilters, which to be frank sucks. There are many episodes across the different series touching on the biofilters, yeah. missing this or missing that, and now there's some kind of plague or whatever. Yes, there are a couple <laughs> episodes like that. Um, anyway, I think the bigger I think the bigger thing in the Star Trek universe is the general lack of safety equipment. Yeah, it's like at some point in the future they were like fuck OSHA and just got rid of it, and now it's just a free for all. We all know the hazards of exploding panels, but what about people who literally fly across the bridge and end up <laughs> dying because they broke their neck or smashed their head on the wall? Everyone except the captain, number one, and what's her face? That's for Ricardo. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the helmsmen <laughs> get to sit down, which means everyone else is just standing there. And if something kind of goes wrong, they're flailing and being flung around the bridge. There's yeah. no seats or seats that actually you can use. There are sometimes... No you do see some 
sometimes that they tuck under the panels and there's especially no seat belts. Yeah, no seat belts in space. Like the most basic safety equipment in any type <laughs> of moving vehicle, the seat belt. Yeah. You know, when you're on a plane and the captain comes around and they're like, there's turbulence, get in your seats and buckle up. Does anyone actually do that? I don't do it. I um, do. I do. Then I do. everyone because, sits because, down um, and buckles yeah. up. <laughs> Does everyone do that? <laughs> oh, I just you like the for Starfleet, Sarah. Really. Um, <laughs> have you ever seen like like, 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 like planes? Like, right have you ever play, Have you seen like footage of like planes just dropping and everyone just fucking bonks their head on the on the thing? <laughs> yeah, on a yeah, spirit flight. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, on a spirit flight. It's always flight. a spirit flight. It's always become a spirit. <laughs> yeah. Um, then everyone sits spirit down will and never buckles be a sponsor up. on this on the show. <laughs> no, for many reasons. Yeah. Fuck spirit. Yeah. Um, and I have personal. Deal oh, yeah. with the spirit. Um, oh, yeah. Then they, um, then everyone sits down and buckles up, and they're all safe and snug. Not me, apparently, and not <laughs> flying around the cabin of the plane. There should be seats in every quarter with seatbelts attached. Um, I feel like there's just like technology that keeps it. I don't know. No, we've seen no, people fly Sarah, around. You've seen them being flung oh, yeah, around. People always Even fly people around. who are seated get get thrown off their chairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they have no seatbelts on the seats. Yeah. <laughs> You know why? You know why, Ashley? Because it's a fucking TV show and they're just cutting corners. That's why. They didn't think about this. No, Ashley has a point. Um, (laughs) There should be seats in every quarter with seatbelts attached. I I just picture the little kids in the nursery (laughs) school just be thrown around the room, banging into each other every time. That's what I'm telling you. That's true. There's no safety equipment, equipment when you're working around the warp core which apparently yeah. goes down yeah. several stories yeah. i feel like when they're in the room they should be tethered to something so they don't just fall off the railing and <laughs> yeah, die that's true so many other things that they just don't bother to do anymore in this show also one last thing the borg only become immune to energy weapons so why they don't fight them with like battle axes spears and other various <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's it? The, melee? The, or, melee, or things weapons. That shoot melee weapons. Melee weapons is beyond me. Maybe teleport some strategically placed grenades and some board cubes and have them go off remotely. But what do I know? Anyway, thanks for a great <laughs> podcast. Ashley. No, Ashley's right. Like like rudimentary like uh uh weapons. Could could beat the Borg, right? Like they, if just, they, they just, just need all to make guns, maces, just maces, bullets. Yeah. Yeah. Just go back old, to one AR fifteen would make good, good old fashioned muskets. <laughs> muskets. <laughs> yeah, and it'll be the like American high fight. school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. god, <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> we all thought it though. We all thought about <laughs> but it. The thing, mm-hmm. the thing with the warp Fair. core that always like bothers me is you know the little little ladders they go up and down. Yeah, and yeah. those look so dangerous. Like yeah, for the they actors. Do. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yes, yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I always think like God, they're actually like it doesn't look very safe what they're doing. Well, um, even so, like the little <laughs> lift thing that they like get into that, that can go one, up and that's down. That's the worst. That's actually yeah. like, there's no handrails. If he just puts his hand down a bit while they're like getting flush with the floor, he's going to fucking like rip his hand off. <laughs> like, yeah, it, yeah. it seems like a huge liability. Uh, but well, uh, on the final point, I do think that they have established that the Borg usually have a pretty good like force field of some kind that present that prevents like transporter yeah, I think, I think what through. they do is like they adapt. So if like two Borgs then do die to guns, they'll create something immediately that can block bullets. And yeah, cetera. that's always a that's always a silly like you know ever evolving villain trope where no yeah. matter what you do to them, they will have completely like Adapted. nullified your your strategy the next time you see them within minutes. Yeah, yeah. somehow, <laughs> just kind of crazy. For the point about the seatbelts, so apparently Gene Roddenberry or someone who works close to the show was asked this question, why are there no seatbelts? And mm-hmm. he, he ex- the explanation was they were thinking about it like a ship and ships don't have seatbelts like Navy ships don't. Uh, everyone's just sitting on a ship. So that's why he just didn't are think about it. Are there really no seat belts on any chairs in a, in a, in a no, Navy ship? Like a boat. Well, they're going too slow. They're going, I like, mean, even at the Titanic, when boat. it hit the iceberg, it's exactly. just like, oh, it hit the iceberg. Yeah, so that's uh, why. we're all he, dying. He, he, he just but, never but, thought of it. But, yeah. he, but here's the thing is that like, how does he not, like a ship, a, 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 a sea ship is not the same as a spaceship. That doesn't make any fucking sense. He just wasn't make thinking any fucking about it. Sense. Yeah. That's, like, that's, did, had, had he never driven a car or been on a plane or a helicopter? No, that's. <laughs> never. Well, these are all valid well, questions. Uh, he's well, he's okay. like, I only, I, I I only mean, travel by ship. Yeah. Don't, at at I the don't risk understand. of like unraveling our entire podcast. Yes, it is a TV <laughs> show. That needs some 
that but, needs I mean, some like, like you know visual like, drama whatever, and it would be kind know? of awkward to see them scrambling to their seats at, at every moment there's like any sort of phaser or, like, hit or seat belts or like you know part of the drama is when they get hit you see them fly across the room yeah. and you're like whoa that it that is funny crazy. though when there was like there mm-hmm. was that one episode where that dick scientist was on the bridge and the sh- bridge shakes slightly and you fell to the floor and you like broke his arm. <laughs> and they were like, oh. well, we got to get you to sick bay and fix your arm because the slight earthquake broke and your arm. And also is part of the lack of safety Wait, was equipment. Wait, that the actor or the character? Oh, the character. The, no, character. the, character. the actor was fine. Oh, okay, the actor okay. was fine. Yeah. Um, he, he is okay. part of the lack of safety stuff maybe also because of the medical improvements it's like where if you do break your arm it's like not that serious anymore like Like, yeah maybe that's also true they're just like like, ah we can just fix it well we can just heal most accidents that happen you know from that would be an interesting development for humanity to be like you know what you don't need to be that safe anymore we can fix you up it's fine. I mean, it's kind of like, well, they have like the COVID stuff, right? Like, okay, That's now true. masks are optional because we have <laughs> the vaccines. Everyone just gets used to it. You know, it's just supposed Fair to be point. like, well, <laughs> things have, <laughs> have calmed down now and we have better technology to, <laughs> you know, I mean. Well, not that we actually have like ways yeah. to. No, um, I mean, I say this as a very, very se. loose comparison, but yeah. Right, right. Right. No, no, no. But but your point is actually valid. Like, yeah. The other thing I would mention is is a matter of perspective. <laughs> yeah. The other thing exactly. I would mention is that uh, Star Trek does actually add seatbelts, but it's only in a deleted scene in one of the movies. Really? Like, yeah. Picard sits down in a seat, and they go, "Oh, we've added a new feature to the starship: seatbelts." And like automatic seatbelts go <laughs> over him on the captain's chair. Wait, you just reminded me of like some restraints that um, were in the J.J. Abrams movies. When yes, they the- added them there too, just to be like, yes, they have seatbelts. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they yeah. got like it just, sued it just or hit something. Me in my head again. There was yeah. some like lawsuit where they're like, and kids, don't forget to put on your seatbelt. <laughs> you know? Uh, but yeah, thank you for that email, Ashley. Thank you so much. Uh, you want to read the next one, Dan? Sure. This one comes from Dieter. He said, or they say, hey, newbies, loving the podcast as usual. I listen every week. I wanted to share my thoughts on how the Klingons developed and maintained an empire. There might be some minor spoilers, but I'll avoid talking about specific episodes. In DS9, you learn that Konos was invaded by a species called the Herc in the 14th century. You also learn that the species died off slash disappeared rather suddenly. It doesn't say how long afterwards this happened, but I'm guessing a few hundred years. Klingons first gained space travel by reverse engineering Herc technology that was left behind after their empire collapsed. Ah. This is just my assumption. But I'm guessing that the Herc didn't stop at Konos. It stands to reason that they would have considered the surrounding systems, or they would have conquered the surrounding systems as well. Subjugated people who suddenly find themselves in a power vacuum are an easy target. If Klingons had shown up with uh, had shown up with any significant technolog- technological advantage, it would be very easy for them to take the Herc's place. Worf at one point says something like, "If Garon is returned to the old ways, he will occupy the capital, execute the leaders, and install Klingon governor." I take this as an example of how Klingons would react in a first contact scenario. Them having advanced tech before nearby systems would allow them to easily annex worlds and co-opt their resources for their own military industrial complex. This creates a situation where they are the big bad bullies in their neighborhood, virtually unchallenged. They don't have a need for tech- technological advancements because what they have works. If it doesn't kill better, they don't have a use for it. Alternatively, the Federation was built on mutual cooperation. They live in a society where all basic needs are met. That means that each of the thousands of Federation worlds has millions of scientists who are free to do what they want. Some focus on societal advancements, others on weapon and defense tech, but all advancements are shared and the Federation becomes stronger as a whole. On the other hand, the Klingons operate in the exact opposite way. They subjugate worlds and stifle their advancement. Any worlds that grasp at independence are quickly squashed. This is what has led to their stagnation. Other, another way to think about it is that the Klingons are more like a classical empire like Alexander the Great or Genghis Khan, and the Federation is closer to NATO. Let me know what you think, Dieter. Mm. Interesting theory. Ooh. That's, a, that's a good explanation. Although the last comparison I would, I would claim the Federation is probably, well, the well, so the thing is, classical empires were actually extremely diverse. That's the only reason they actually survived as long as they did. Like when the Roman Empire expanded, every time they took over a region, they said, okay, we're in charge now, but you guys go about your business. Do as you normally do, and we'll just give you resources as you need it. And if you have any issues, just come to us and ask, and we'll give it to you. If there's any problems, we'll be back. 
And that's kind of mm. how they expanded. Like, same with Genghis Khan, same with Alexander the Great. This is how they expanded their empires, by letting the indigenous cultures remain as they are without trying to completely take them over. And that's why, sure. like, you have, like, eventually, you know, like, you know, the Roman Empire started off with basically Greek, Greek mythology, and then slowly became Christian. You know, that's why, because of this. Mm -hmm. So, in that sense, I don't think the Klingon Empire ran that benevolently, benevolently probably. <laughs> Uh, they were probably much more of a crushing empire that completely took over. I would argue they're more like British Empire, maybe, where, you know, they like really forced their own ideals onto the the natives. Well, de well depending on how aggressively they expand, it would um, potentially provide a st or put a strain on their ability to just spread themselves too thin. Yeah. Like like th there are only so many Klingons who, you know, would enforce their old ways. But we've also seen already in the show how, you know, the classic Klingon way is somewhat uh, gone out of style, at least among the higher ups, like who would make big decisions. And no one's actually following it. <laughs> about the Klingon <laughs> empire. So it's yeah, like, yeah. I don't know how they would actually conduct themselves now if they had the ability but yeah. um th this was a this was like a, a potential explanation for how they got to where they are right now right yeah and i think it's it's that is probably a better explanation than the show's probably ever given so no, yeah, like it, it, th there's <laughs> definitely more thought to it than i think the showrunners themselves um make apparent in the episodes we've seen right well all right well th thank you dieter for that explanation it's actually very thorough. It helps us a lot to cool. understand why the Klingons may be the way they are. Um, is this our last email? No, this is uh, second to last. Sarah, do you want to do this one? Uh, I'll do the last one. Okay. Then do you want to do the next one again, Dan? Sure. This one subject line reads, Miles O'Brien's rank problems. Hi, all. Just got done listening to the, uh, the episode on the wounded. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I should see who this is from. Oh, it doesn't say. All right, cool. Yeah. It, uh, um, the, uh, the, it is from A.A. Ron and Aaron. So. Okay. A.A. Ron. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Just got done listening to the episode on the wounded. Love that episode and Cole Meany's performance. You briefly mentioned O'Brien's frankly confusing rank status. Let me assure you, this is not an isolated incident. During the original series, rank stripes were added to the sleeves of the crew at the insistence of studio execs, and they worked on a system of more important characters getting more stripes. Gene Roddenberry, wonderful guy, had wanted to avoid depicting <laughs> Starfleet as like a military, whereas a studio wanted viewers to know who was in charge of who when characters were speaking. Eventually, after the first season, fans began writing in with questions about the ranks and the meaning of the stripes, so a system was drawn up that made sense with what had been shown on screen. So they didn't actually know what they were doing. Oh <laughs> the effect being that all members of Starfleet were officers. According to Roddenberry, the idea was that these people were astronauts and there was no enlisted men. Everyone went to Starfleet Academy, like a space West Point, but with PTSD inducing tests for Western <laughs> pressure. <laughs> this was true for O'Brien too. He appears as an ensign, then a lieutenant. He is called a lieutenant by Picard and a transporter chief is supposed to be his job title. That change in the episode Family, where the writers have he and Worf's father bond over them both being enlisted men and give O'Brien a bizarre demotion to chief petty officer, still wearing his same lieutenant rank. <laughs> and if you watch, his rank insignia on his collar will change in at least two more times. And his backstory of one uh, of one of a handful of non-commissioned officers to appear in Star Trek will be fished out, will be fleshed out more in TNG and DS9. Truly a perfect everyman surrounded by a glut of officers who are all technically his boss. Thanks for the podcast and can't wait for even more TNG. Thank you, A. Ron. That that implies no. that like everyone's officers and it's like maybe like five guys who just like signed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it's like a really every. It's like it's like a a modern corporation. Everyone's a VP, and there's no place. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone's a president or a vice president. And you're just like or a EVP, and you're like, what the fuck? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> are there just anyone who's like a normal person that works? Like any fr any friend who joins becomes a VP. <laughs> yeah, I know it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, well, Aaron, thank you very much for that email. And our last email is also from an Aaron. Uh, oh, in fact, he, a different he one? <laughs> yeah, a different Aaron. The funny part is he even signed his email, another Aaron, which I think yeah, is Yeah, I feel funny. like we had like a few emails <laughs> wow. from people named Aaron. <laughs> and I've Aaron's. asked you before, it's like, hey, is that the same Aaron as before? And he's, you would say no. Yeah, so I don't know nice if that thing. means we've just been hopping back and forth between two or three Aaron's or if they're actually that many more Aaron's. I think they're all different, different Aaron's. This is the Wait, lot of Aaron. Every Aaron who's ever um, emailed us, like, sound off. 
<laughs> yeah, no, for real. That's Send us crazy. more emails saying, I am yeah. another Aaron. <laughs> Yet another. Yeah. It's like the Goosebumps collection series where there were like, uh, more goosebumps, even more goosebumps, yet even more goosebumps. Oh wait, I do remember that. Remember yeah, those? Yeah. Or yeah. I'm thinking yeah. of Sl- Slim Shady with that video, and there's he just is all the the same. Oh yeah. <laughs> with the uh, white. Who's the real Aaron? Who's the real? <laughs> will the real? Will the real Aaron please stand up? Yeah. Okay, exactly. that's where my mind went. Okay, subject line: the binge. Is over. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Ricardo, Sarah, Marvin, and Dan. I was introduced to the podcast through YouTube Shorts. Wow, that's hey. interesting. Usually, we mm-hmm. hear TikTok or yeah, something else. I mean, it's the same content. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's cool. <laughs> and I, I, have, I finally <laughs> got. I finally got through the backlog. Great work. Love to hear everyone's take on one of my favorite shows. Ooh, we got the. British or Canadian way of spelling favorite. I never watched it in my youth, but did see shows from time to time. Only really fully watching the series on Space Channel here in Canada. Oh, he's Canadian. See, look at that. We knew right away from the way you spelled favorite. Mm -hmm. Then later going on Netflix. You have some great episodes forthcoming over the next couple seasons. Introducing my favorite part-time character in season five, episode three. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Wonder, I wonder who that, who that is. is. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to hearing the podcast take on them. Okay. Mysterious. Want to know who that is? <laughs> Couple things I'd like to add. Okay. We got suggestions. Um, maybe <laughs> for Sarah. Yes, Luxwana Troy is an attractive person, but I'm still with Picard here. Hard pass. Too much drama. Agreed. I mean, mm. you can fuck, and I mean that has nothing to do with fucking someone. <laughs> like. <laughs> I mean, but does he, I don't the, know about you, you but fucking usually can, it, it entangles you with people and leads mm, to drama. Don't have to, just you know. Yeah, hard pass. Fucking fucking dip. I um, mean, all, I mean, I, I don't even consider looks on attractive, so I should <laughs> remove myself from the conversation. I yeah, think she's hard attractive, pass. but yeah. you know, yeah. I mean, I guess too much drama. I don't know. I don't think you know. I have a very high threshold for drama, and Marvin knows this. My life is yes. very dramatic. Um, so I'm probably not the right person to consult about that because if you're with me or in my inner circle, you will have a very dramatic life. Um, yes. for Ricardo, unnecessarily dramatic. <laughs> Marvin can <laughs> confirm my life is very dramatic. For the record, I would like to believe that I do not contribute much to that. No, no. Dan, you were very not dramatic and unproblematic as a friend of mine. Thank you so much for being consistent <laughs> and normal. Um, normal. Most, I don't know. If I not would go all that people far. are not in my life. Um, for Ricardo, dreams do come true. Dick Jones. Jean Grey. Yeah. And Clarence Bodickler? Clarence Bodickler. That was worth it. That was worth it. We can, we can end it there. We can end it there. That was... That was <laughs> Bob Dicker? Yeah, yeah. How do we? Yeah. Clarence Bob Dicker. Clarence Clarence Bob Dicker. Dicker. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it. Bob Dickler. Dickler. <laughs> Bob Dickler. I don't know who this is. Who is this? Uh, if, you make it to Voyager, <laughs> if you make it to Voyager, are on the horizon. Looking forward to hearing more from you all. Another Aaron. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Sorry I, I botched those names. I don't know who. A lot of Dick. <laughs> Dick Jones. Cop. Don't like Dickler. Me, so I don't like cops. <laughs> well, wait. If I'm not mistaken, there is an episode later on within TNG, not in Voyager necessarily, that yep. does have one Jean Grey in it. I believe so. Yes. So something, something's coming up on the horizon for that. Yeah, and it, it's one of the few episodes that I saw like completely like out of context and like independent of my like sequential watch of the show. So yeah, I think she comes back for a different character in Voyager. But yeah. Oh, same actor. Yeah, yeah, same actor. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Yeah, so okay, okay, okay. Well. Beautiful. Thanks. Aaron. Keep on sending the uh, letters. Thanks. Thanks we love Aaron. hearing Aaron's, from you. A- Aaron's from around the world. Unite. Send us letters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. We want more Aaron's. We want to collect them all. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we need to institute a rule that if your name isn't Aaron, you're just not going to get read. There's too much. <laughs> 
It's, it's, it's the on. easiest way to filter. Yeah. It's like college admission letters. It's the easy yeah. way. It's the easiest way to filter people out is if you're named Aaron. I mean, Aaron <laughs> is cool because you're like at the top of the alphabet. Yeah. A A. A. It doesn't get any more first than that. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it. your name's like Agatha. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a pretty sweet name. Abigail. <laughs> Your parents wanted you to be number one. <laughs> Abigail oh. Alarcon. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh very different type of episode. Uh we got we caught up on a lot of user or user uh listener emails and uh Yes, yeah. keep sending, keep sending us mail. Yeah. We love it. Yeah, if you again if we you read wanna... every email. Yeah, we read every email me, if you me. want to. Yeah, not Ricardo. <laughs> if you want to send them to us, just again, contact at newbiestartrek.com. Well, I hope you guys all have a merry, merry Christmas or holidays, whatever, whatever holiday you're you're celebrating. Or if not, whatever. Have a great time. Just be safe. Look, look hopefully everyone gets some time off for the holidays. Yeah. Everyone gets yeah. time off. Hopefully. Hopefully. Everyone should. Well, not everyone everybody. Deserves if you time work off. in the service industry, no, no, I'm, no. I'm just off, saying so. everyone should get time off. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, like you know, what I mean, everyone should. No, then. All right. Yes. Enjoy the holidays, yeah. everybody. We'll see Stay you guys safe. in the new COVID's year. COVID's yeah. going around again. Yeah. <laughs> everyone I know is getting it. <laughs> well, yeah. Crazy. Be careful. Uh, we I, I don't think that people until... died last time, and I think <laughs> hopefully, if bug will permits, this is the time. Yeah, we won't be back till mid January. Because we got a bunch of stuff going on, but yeah, hopefully this helps tide you guys over till we're back. But see you it guys in the new it year. Won't, but it's fine. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Take care, everybody. Love you. Bye. Happy end of year. <laughs> <laughs>